Hi, I'm Sarah Arsama. I'm a physician assistant. I work with Vivek Goswami at the Austin Heart Northwest Clinic. We specialize in general and preventive cardiology and um, advanced lipid studies as well. I'm also the president of the Central Texas PA Society here in Austin. So when we identify somebody who either has vascular disease or is at very high risk for having vascular disease, there's really only three specific areas in medicine where we can affect what their risk factors are, where we can reduce their risk. That's lipids or cholesterol, blood pressure, and if they're diabetic, keeping their blood sugar under control. And that's really kind of it. So um, from a prevention standpoint, it's extremely important. Up until very recently, all we had in the way of reducing cholesterol were statins and diet and lifestyle modifications. Now with the advent of the newer drugs, I think it's really an area where we can make a difference in people's outcomes for cardiovascular disease. In a typical visit with the patient, we discuss any symptoms they may be having, um, we review all medications, we talk about diet and exercise, what kind of foods they're eating, um, how much exercise they're doing, what they're doing for exercise, if they feel good during exercise, and then I review any lab work with the patient and any testing that we've done and discuss whether or not it would be time to update any of this or if there are any areas where we can improve, any risk factors that they have where we could be doing better. We really pride ourselves um, on a very individualized approach to management. We're not um, the practice who thinks, you know, oh, the number is this, so you have to have this medicine. We'd much rather take sort of an, um, a comprehensive approach to your family history, what your dietary habits are, what your exercise habits are, what the cholesterol numbers are, which medicines you'll tolerate and to what extent, and make sort of a comprehensive plan um, to reduce your risk. And we're, you know, we're not just interested in patients who already have heart disease or who have you know, a genetic disorder that gives them high cholesterol. We want to see uh, you know, everyone. It's just general and preventative practice. So if you're interested in preventative medicine, I think this is a great place to come.